Today I'm going to show you how to assemble the filigrees grease pump. Below here is the main assembly. It comes with a two part. You have your cotter pins. It comes with two sets and two safety pins. For video purposes, I went ahead and removed the upper one and assembled the lower one. What you're going to do is line it up to the main piston. And this is fully adjustable. It can rotate, go up or down, whichever is more comfortable for you. Find the correct setting. Line up the pen to the hole. Make sure it's in place. And then begin adding your safety pin. This is so that anything doesn't fall out. Once you have that assembled, you're able to work the pump up and down. The next step, we're going to add the lid. You want the attachment to face at the very top. The only two tools needed for it are a crescent wrench and just a regular Phillips screwdriver. What we're going to do next is just line it up to where you want it. And then it comes with a nut and bolt that are going to be used to fasten it in place. This just acts as a secure so that it doesn't flop around. You want to hold one side with your crescent wrench just so that it doesn't move while you're passing it in with the screwdriver. And it doesn't have to be extremely tight, just enough where it doesn't move around. A few turns. Next, what we're going to do is at the bottom and final piece. This acts as a, as a way of filtering out any bubbles that are selling at the bottom. That can be put just about anywhere uh, as long as it gives you enough space to adjust it. Next what we're going to do is go ahead and put it in the drum. 20 gallon drum or 120 pounds. Next you have three fasteners to hold the lead in place. These don't have to be extremely tight either, just enough to hold it to where the lid doesn't pop off. Finally, what we're going to do is add your nozzle. The way that this works, it's a threaded piece, along with a threaded piece that you have here. And I want to line them up. Now, this doesn't have to be extremely tight either. I'm going to go ahead and leave it just hand tight. You might want to do an extra twist if, if this were going to be a working model. Finally, we have the extra piece. It's an attachment um, for the grease gun. What this is, is in here you have a, an area along with a uh, O-ring that allows for good seating. You want to push in. And at that point, you're, uh, you're ready to start working.